I knew my father had this experience of being in the Holocaust, and that was going to be a big part of his of the story I had to tell. But I, it had been so long since he told us these stories that I really didn't remember the details, and I had to try to figure out what to write and what to tell about him. And I remembered that he had written down his life story years ago, maybe 13, 15 years before. When he retired, he typed out his life memories, and it was somewhere in my attic, some, somewhere. I got on my ass, and I hauled myself backwards up my attic stairs and found the dusty copy of this thing that he had typed and started to go through it and found what he needed for the eulogy. And we put that away. And then I was off my feet for two months and not at work. And it's the first time in my life I had ever not worked. I've literally been working since I was 11. Not <laughs> That's in the a whole other story anything, about my right? family that I won't go into about why I was working since I was 11. That's another book <laughs> for another time. Uh, but so then I was at home under with my leg going like this and some kind of rehab machine and not doing anything, not wanting to be idle. I'm talking to my mother, who was widowed a lot, and she said, Audrey, your dad really wanted his book published. And this book was, I don't know if you could see, but it's a pretty big tome. Yeah. It's like a one pound tome. And, and so I started really reading it cover to cover. And I thought, wow, this is amazing. So much detail.